The game is, it's called Babylon Battle Royale. Um, so it's, it's a game where it involves uh, immortal babies beating up each other with selfie sticks. Um, it's PvP, um, so it's 1v1 at the core experience, so like, you know, at its core it's kind of like a party brawler. 1v1 in terms of people who are in the arena, we also have spectators, so you can always spectate the match um, in every arena and stage that you fight in. And as a spectator, you can cheer and boo the people that you're a fan of or not a fan of, and like, you know, bet on matches and like, throw items or chairs or weapons into the arena, like WWE style. Yo, dude, stop. What are you doing? I need like... That's led to amazing dividends in terms of being able to build out a lot of our infrastructure and tool links, a lot of which we've kind of also shared with the community, um, whether it's plugins to some of the work that Corey, um, my co-founder, has done uh, showcasing how to use the iPhone 10 to um, do real-time facial capture uh, and help democratize that process, which one is SIGGRAPH. Uh, uh, real-time live last year. And I think the way this ultimately benefits the consumer is that we, they end up getting a much better product, you know, and we get kind of a lot more different types of things because it allows, especially with what uh, Unreal is, Epic is doing with Unreal, um, allows much smaller teams, you know, we're still only four people full-time, uh, to do things that, you know, uh, a couple of years ago would have required, you know, massive amounts of budget. The installation process was decent in terms of to download it and put it in. I was surprised that it, it actually did end up working, especially with our um, heavily modified render pipeline of Unreal. I was also pleasantly surprised that it actually uh, worked. Uh, then in terms of placement and things like that, it plays just like a normal UE4 uh, component. You can place it anywhere and it looks like it's using widget components, which means that it could be uh, textured or placed on anywhere that we would have menu UI. Uh, for where it's at now, it was logical, it made sense.